So Slido is a really good way of interacting with your audience. And I've seen this used a lot in seminars and conferences, and it can be with the audience that's right there or online or a combination of both. And it's really straightforward to use. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to sign up. I'm going to quickly take a look at the pricing so you get an idea of that. And also going to create one, put it into a PowerPoint, and then take a look at how it actually works online. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna take a quick look at the pricing. Now, bearing in mind, I'm in the UK and I've got these prices here in pounds. So there's the basic version, which is free. It limits you to 100 participants. You can have an unlimited audience though with the Q&A and you can do three polls per event. So you can ask three questions. For 12 pounds a month, you can do the 200 participants, unlimited polls, and you can see it goes up and up in the a number of participants you can have. I'm going to use the basic one because that's what I think will be useful for what I need to show you. And, you know, it might be something that you just want to try just by using the free one and then upgrade as and when you need it. So let's just click on that. I'm going to sign up let me just sign up with Google because that's going to be quick and simple. So you may not see all my details as I log in here. So if I skip over that, you'll know. Okay, so it's taken me through all of that. I'm going to put down here that I'm a freelance. Not that it really matters. Oh, let me just do my cookies down the bottom here. I'm going to do allow all. You don't have to. You could do reject if you want. Let's just go to freelance. So this is the setup. I think I'd use it for both of those. I do a lot of training and workshops as well. So teaching people all sorts of things, including how to photograph video, how to record lectures, conferences, and so on. So let's just go to continue. Uh, what meeting am I going to use? I'm going to use PowerPoint for this, but it doesn't mean so you can't use any of these as integrations for the others. So I could select say all three of those and then click on continue. Entertain my audience, collect data and insights. I could go through these and choose more depending on your needs. Let's click on continue, give your account a name. Let's call it just Gary's organization. Where do I want to start? Well, I want to start by creating a Slido. So I could use Slido in my browser or set up Slido in my tools and I could get started in integrations. Now, I think I'm gonna do this with the integrations because I want to use PowerPoints and most people seem to use PowerPoint. So let's just do that. Let's do this one here. Let's go to PowerPoint again. I need to request access. I'm using it on a Mac, but this does work on Windows as well. So. I did have the choice of Windows, but that wouldn't make a difference here and it automatically selected that. So let's go request access. And let's press start. I'm going to have to enter my work email. So look away now. What best describes my role? I'm just going to choose that. Yes, I'm going to stay in touch. Let's hit submit. We've just sent me an email with the download link. So I'm gonna go over and just get that. Okay, so let me just go to my email. So I've downloaded the installer. I'm just gonna run it. I'm going to double click this icon. Let's open it. And I'm just gonna open PowerPoints, which it's now doing. So when it opens PowerPoint now, with for the first time when I've had Slido installed, it's actually got instructions here. It's basically got a presentation. It's telling you to go to Slido, how you can do this, and also showing you how it works. So you can do this by clicking here, going through the presentation as such, and seeing how it works. So let's give it a go. Let's go for a new presentation. I'm going to click on Slido here. I have to log in. I'm just going to click on create new Slido. So let's add something. Let's do a multiple choice question. Let's add this in. 
what do you like about conferences? And I can add an option here, and that could be networking. The, let's do this properly. The lectures, the food. Okay, and I could add in more there. Don't go crazy. You don't want to have too many questions on there. Don't forget you've got to get people to interact. So don't forget if you're doing this and you're doing it online and you're live streaming, there might be a bit of delay to your audience. If you're using something like YouTube or Vimeo, something like that, you might just need to wait. You can allow them to select multiple options. So maybe there's more than one that they could do. Here you've got show results immediately. So the audience will see the results as they go. That could influence them. Show results when you click or don't show the results. Obviously the results you will see in your own Slido. So we're gonna do show results immediately for this one, add to presentation. And there you go, it's added that in. Great job it says. Okay, so down the side here, you'll actually see your multiple choice right here and you can actually see this here even if you don't have the results showing immediately. Let's create a new interaction. We could just have open text. Um, what would we like to ask? What would you like to see next time? They can submit multiple answers. Do you want to show the respondents' names? Let's untick that. And this time, let's show results on click. Let's add that to the presentation. And you can see down here on the left-hand side, it's immediately putting these slides in. Really useful. Let's just have a look at another one. And we could maybe have a quiz here. So what would you like to ask? Um, what time did we start? Nothing really that interesting, is it? Was it 10, 11, 12? You could enable a timer, you could show the leaderboard. So with the quiz, you do need to select the correct answer. It's that one there. Add to the presentation. Boom, we've got the next one. Okay, I'm just going to click on create new interaction because there's a load more here. You've got Q&A where people could just ask questions. Um, and you've got things like word clouds, ratings, quizzes, rankings, and you can try these all out. Let's just click on this audience Q&A. So that just creates a Q&A session. No questions have popped up here. You can see it automatically. Just put that slide in here without any options. Okay, so you've got your presentation here. You can see it's got the first slide. I could just click here and we could do this about how to video a conference. I haven't got any fancy slides here, so that's just slide one. I can add slides in here. So I could add in a new slide and I can move them around just like I normally do. So you don't have to have all of your Slido slides one after each other. I could just add into this one here a bit of text. This is another slide. Okay, there we go. Let's just move that across. Boom. Okay, so we've done that. Okay, so once I've set all of this up, I should save it. Let's do that. I'm gonna save it into my PowerPoint folder here. Let's call, it, call this Slido1. Let's hit save. Now, on the right-hand side, I've got these little three lines here. I can copy the joining link, so I could send that. That would be a URL. When I start Slido, when I start the presentation, I'm also gonna get a QR code. Now I could do that beforehand and I could get a copy. I could do a screenshot of the QR code and I could put that out there as well. But this is really useful for people in the room and also if they are online as well. So if I do copy joining link, it tells me it's copied. I could now put that into the chat and email and so on. You could customize with different colors. You could go into the advanced settings takes you to the website, to the admin page, where you can give the event a name. So this is Gary's training session. 
I could put in the date, the time. Again, there is the event link. I could copy it by clicking on these little squares here. And there are additional settings such as location and so on. There is the event code which they can use in Slido as well if they want to do that. Okay, so let's just hit save on that. I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint, close that. So I want to present now. So I'm going to click on my present button here. I could use my button down here for my slideshow, or you can use whatever shortcut you have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it. I'm going to interact using my iPhone because you can do this with iPhones. And if people are in the audience, that's a really good way to do it. So let's just hit present. And it starts my presentation. I can go through my presentation any way I like. I can have all of my things like my interactions, my animations and transitions and all of that on there. So this is the first slide. If you remember, the next slide is the first one in the Slido. So let's just go to that and it will start it up. That was pretty quick actually, probably because I've been there before. There is the QR code. And we're going to use that QR code. I'm going to use this here. I'm going to do it on my phone. And so I could go to slido.com, put in that code as well. Let's just do that here. Hopefully you all know about this. Many audiences today know about all these things. And right here on my phone, you can actually see it on my phone. I've got polls, I've got Q&A, so I could type a question into the Q&A. If I go to polls, and if I choose networking, and I do send, you're gonna see it automatically come up on here. I'm the only one on here, 100%, I'm seeing it on here as well. So let's just go to the next one. What would you like to see next time? I can say in here, guest speaker, press send. Now, I didn't want it to show straight away. I wanted it on click. So let's see what happens. There you go, it comes up on click. I said it to be anonymous, not to show the name. So it hasn't put that in. Join the quiz. Okay, your name. Let's just do Gary. So people could put whatever name they want in there. Okay, what time did we start? I've got it on my phone here. Let me just, it's giving me 15 seconds. I know the time because I created the quiz. Let's hit send. Quiz is over. Yes, I got it right. 100%. Now, congratulations, Gary. I'm the winner. Okay, so the next one is join at Slido. I'm going to ask a question. How long did it take to create the Slido? Send. And it starts coming up. This is great because you can see the questions come up. They can, people can vote on them as well. So you'll see here on my phone, it's got like a little thumb there, a like button, if I do that. So that's really good for whoever is moderating this. And you could have this on the screen as well. Um, and you can see basically what's been upvoted. So you can say, oh, a lot of people like that one will answer that one. And you can have more and more questions in there as well. What time is the break? Okay, so I'm being a little bit silly here, but let's just put that in. And you'll see I pressed it and look how quickly that comes up. But that does remind me to tell you that you do need a connection when you're using Slido. Okay, so that's how you use Slido. Let's press escape to come out of here. So one of the things I can do is right here, I could download the results. I could do that. I could just click on that and it's going to download them for me. And I could export them. You can see the total questions. You can see the engagements. 
you can see the Q&A questions here. So that's your analytics, that's the tab at the top. You've got the live polls tab, so you can see, you can go back and have a look again at that. So you can activate the poll again if you wanted to restart it. You could also hide the results, you could lock the voting and so on. So you can actually see what went on here. So you can actually see the results by just clicking on these three dots here. And there you go. It's just coming up nice and easy. Really easy to use. It's actually quite a bit of fun for the audience as well because they can see it happening in real time. You've also got the audience Q&A which you've got here. You can see them here. And if I go to my analytics, you can export them. So you can share the analytics. So you could do that, create public share link, and you could share that. You could also export, so you can download the export or export to Google. Download export, you can tell it what you want. And I've got the free version, so I've got to sign up for that, but I can download all of that. And you can see it does it as a PDF or Excel spreadsheet. So don't forget you can use this in the room and combine it with your online audience as well. Really, really easy to use. So if you want to use this in something else, Zoom, Teams, Webex, you can just use the integrations there. Personally, most people I've seen are using it in PowerPoint. And if they are using it in PowerPoint, then they're probably using it in a Zoom call as well. So the integration within PowerPoint seems to be working for a lot of people. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.